What is up, Wild Squad? Hope you're all doing well. And today in Madden Ultimate Team, we got probably the biggest one-day content drop that we've ever gotten in the history of Mutt, at least that I can remember. You can see right there now on the screen, we got Randy Moss, Michael Vick, and Deion Sanders, all part of the 50 in one day. And of course, that's causing some market fluctuations. But even bigger than that, tomorrow on Christmas Day, the presents are opening, and there's going to be an even bigger market shift from that. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But first, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor. Boys, if you're looking to add that brand new shiny player to your team in Madden, don't gamble with packs. Hit up Red Zone Coins for cheap, fast, reliable coins to help build your team. Use code WAS to get 20% off your order. And guys, as we get into this, if you want to build your coin stack up, build the best team that you can up, be sure to subscribe with the Nutty Bell on because that's a lot about what we talk about on this channel. But let's go ahead and talk about the first thing that I want to mention before we talk about anything else. This isn't really a uh, strategy or anything that you want to go and do for these days, but just so you guys know, if you are trying to do the presents and everything, you only have four hours left to open presents. Okay, that's four hours at the time of recording, by the time I get this out, It'll probably be more like three hours. So be sure to go and do that before they expire if you did want to pick up some presents. Just wanted to mention that first. So obviously, like I said, the market is going to be taking a huge tank today and tomorrow. Now, the tank right now is actually not super significant. Uh, I went through and just updated the spreadsheet that members have access to for cheapest training right now. It's just under nine CPT right now. That is unfiltered. We'll go take a look at the best filters that you can look at right now for cheapest training. And tomorrow, of course, there's going to be different ones for Christmas Day. And just so you all know, I'm probably not going to be releasing a video tomorrow on Christmas Day just because it's Christmas. I'll be busy with my family there's a chance that i have some time in the middle of the day to throw a quick video together for you guys but more than likely i'm not really gonna have the time so we're just gonna be double teaming it today so the 50 is live right now and obviously like i said we got randy moss Vic, and all those guys let's go look at those cards because if y'all remember last week one of the methods i talked about when the 50 first dropped was to go and snipe the new cards the set pieces and everything and then go and flip them and sell them for a profit because it's very easy to do now that is still a method that you can do right now but there is a very very significant problem with that so obviously the new guys have gone up to 96 overall so they went up from 95 to 96 so that means the set pieces are actually up to 86 overall now there are a lot of snipes to be had on here you can see here they're all going for about 74,500 this is a pretty good snipe and everything I'm not going to recommend that you guys go and do this right now because it is impossible <laughs> almost to snipe these guys okay it is incredibly difficult to snipe any of these let's just go to, to Dion right here the cornerback like 30 like these are so cheap guys you're not gonna be able to get these I'm just telling you right now you're not gonna be able to get any of these it's gonna be you're gonna be incredibly lucky if you get any of these snipes I would not recommend going and sitting on these I mean look at that 19,000 who is selling it for that somebody that doesn't understand and it's so tempting to go and do it but guys I really wouldn't even waste your time on that if you are able to get any snipes out of these guys then make sure you go and put them up for a good price 70 thousand seventy four thousand somewhere in there don't put them up for a regular 86 now since the market is gonna be taking a huge crash today and tomorrow and actually hasn't been an absolutely massive crash not as big as I thought it was gonna be today but I think it will be a pretty big one tomorrow with all those presents opening one of the best filters actually that you can find right now is 94 overall at 190,000 or so that's 9.55 CPT that is unfiltered and what you can also be doing during market crashes is just going and filling in your team with spots that you need and things like that so actually 182,000 is what we're filtering down here on the punter overall and that is giving us 9.1 five so we're, we're, i want to be aiming under nine and guys truthfully if you want to get some training today you can and all that and roll into some presents and things like that if you're trying to last minute before all those go away but realistically i think tomorrow is going to be your best day to buy in terms of upgrading your team tomorrow as in christmas day you might be watching this on christmas day uh that is going to be the best time for you to go and buy and upgrade your team get cheap training all that good stuff because everyone's going to be opening those presents we've discussed this in the past but just to rehash really quickly everybody's going to be opening all of the presents all their smalls mediums larges and excels and the majority of your presence let's say you got a hundred presents obviously the contents of all those presents aren't gonna be able to start on your team so the majority of people are just gonna be selling them off and trying to get coins for them as much as they can now what I did y'all can see I only have 634 training and 1500 snow I converted pretty much everything that I had over into coins that's why we're over the 3 million coin threshold right now and coins we're doing pretty well there and we are ready for tomorrow because there's some pretty I'm only a 91 overall with my team so I've got some pretty big upgrades that I want to make to my squad and that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow but if you are wanting to look for cheap training today or even tomorrow some of the best ones that I can find right now 91 65,000 is what I found so if we go like 91 let's go by program team of the week we want to be looking for probably around under 60,000 for these guys there's team of the week so we're going to go down to the 91s and we want to be going under what did I say 60,000 or so so nothing really crazy right now 63 62,000 that's not bad 62,000 
uh, for 91 overalls would be 9.06. So you're, you're just over 9 CPT. But guys, a few weeks ago, we were even below that. We were even lower than that. That's why I'm kind of saying hold off today. I really wouldn't throw all of your coins into the market to invest and all that stuff. I would hold off for tomorrow. Again, tomorrow being Christmas my time. If you're watching this on Christmas, that's what I would be doing. But most importantly, let's talk about the coin making strategy that you can be using on Christmas. Now, it's not going to be any glitchy reroll, completing sets and all that. Yeah, we'll be getting more content and all that stuff. But what we're going to focus on here is what you need to do to take advantage of this huge market crash. Because assuming, like I said, CPT right now coins per training is about nine if it drops to like six or so that's something you're going to want to take advantage of and it's not going to be an immediate payout but it's something that you can take advantage of in the long run and turn into coins now first things first you do want to focus on upgrading your team tomorrow if that's what you do if you want to build your team not just build your coins then that's what you want to focus on more tomorrow so obviously i've got like a darren waller missing here steve smith that i'm missing right there i've got a couple other missing spots that i need to upgrade and i need to buy their better versions of i need to get like the power ups for uh, ray lewis and ed reed all that stuff these are going to be good with the marlon humphreys there uh one that i'm missing these are going to be cards that i'm picking up tomorrow that i'm going to be looking to upgrade my team so that's something that you're going to want to be doing regardless of whether you want to make coins or not because tomorrow they're all going to be cheaper than they ever will be except for maybe the 50 power-ups when we get the new series which will be sometime in january i assume at this point whenever we get that we will be getting these power-ups in packs so their value will drop pretty significantly but i'm still going to check their price tomorrow and see if they maybe do drop in value but just be aware if you have any holes on your team you have a couple positions that you've been holding out to go and pick up because you're not sure if you wanted to spend the money on them tomorrow's going to be the day aka christmas day so once you've upgraded your squad and all that good stuff what you're going to be doing on christmas day is you're going to be either investing in very very cheap training or you're going to be investing in cards for the future now when you're investing in cheap training the way that you're going to find the cheapest training and the reason i'm telling all you all this right now and i don't know exactly is just because i want y'all to know before it happens if you're watching this video just be prepared for tomorrow the presents that open up small medium large xl whatever is in them let's say the larges are all like team of the week they're 91 plus players or whatever i don't know exactly what it's going to be that's why it's going to be kind of hard but if we notice that every small player is an 81 plus zero chill player then the 81 plus all zero chill players they're going to tank in value if every small present has zero chill players in it if it's not just an 81 plus player but like an 81 plus zero chill player then it will tank all of those guys and those are going to be great snipes that you can get for a very good value because people are going to be selling those guys like crazy because they're not especially all the 81s nobody's going to want them so you're going to be able to go buy them for incredibly incredibly cheap and the mediums and all that stuff, like maybe an 85 plus zero chill player, it'll be the same thing. It's going to be kind of hard to say. Now, the larges are the ones that I'm not sure about because last year we had different colored presents. Okay, so if you had like a green present, it was going to be a team of the week, redux and all that stuff. Now, if people are opening presents and they're getting a wide array of stuff, like they're getting some team of the week, some redux and all that stuff, that's good because that's going to cause a big market downturn across the board. If people are opening the large presents and all it is is like 91 plus or 92 plus, whatever it may be, zero chill then that's still good because you can get those players for cheap, but it's not going to cause a market downturn across the board because people won't be opening up their presents and getting all the series redux. Does that make sense? Like when we had the Blitz promo and people were getting series redux cards out of it or the 50 card, there was a temporary really big dip in the market when everybody was selling everything off and then it recovered once everybody opened up all those packs, just like they will do with the presents tomorrow. And people that bought all those cards at the dip, all those redux and everything, were able to sell them for a little bit of profit. So that's what you're going to want to be looking at tomorrow. Pay attention to what's in the presents and everything. And if it's not like this specific zero chill then you're gonna be able to snipe cards watch their value like if a card is going for two hundred thousand like if it's a really good like a darren waller series redux i don't know what he's going for exactly but if he's going for two hundred thousand and people are opening up presents tomorrow and there's a lot of series redux in there then that is going to cause that darren waller to drop to like 170 160 maybe 150k that's a really good time to buy that not only like obviously i would buy it for my team but it's not only a good time for that but to buy him and then as everybody gets the cards and everything the market becomes less saturated his value will go back up just because it's a good card and then of course you can invest in cards if you think they're going to get an upgrade soon so like dion was one that i was invested in and he just got the 50 card so i was able to sell off my investments there another one that i'm invested in is bo jackson and i think he's going to be getting a card tomorrow for christmas or if he doesn't he's going to be getting one very very soon so it's a good time to invest in those cards too long term because when their price is so low they only have anywhere to go but up if the market drops significantly tomorrow it will recover some a day or two after christmas so that is going to be your time to buy and hold and invest in cards again i don't always advocate investing in cards because it can be risky especially i wouldn't invest in power-ups i'm saying that right now because a lot of the master sets give the power-ups back the 50 sets give power-ups back i just don't think they're really good investments right now so keep that in mind uh, maybe somebody disagrees with me but i don't like investing in power-ups this year but if you want to invest in set pieces or anything like that then i think that's a good move the other 
other thing that you want to do, and this is something that I'm going to do, I actually quick sold all of my presents except for my XL ones. And I actually only have two XL ones, but I did get the red and white one, which quick sells for 36,000 snow. And then the black and white one here, which quick sells for 65,000 snow. So these are the two that I have. Now, a lot of people actually have XL presents. They are very rare. And just so you all know this XL present, I had just enough snow to roll the random present one more time. And I pulled this out of there and it was like literally my only roll in like three days with snow. And I, I was just assumed I was going to get a small one and I got an XL. So I was super excited about that. But if you do have these XL presents, you open them up. I know I'm going to get a lot of DMs and a lot of questions because there's going to be a lot of people that haven't watched this far in the video. So shout out to y'all that still are. And actually, we're going to do two 100,000 coin giveaways in this video. I'm only going to mention this one right here for those of y'all watching. But if you are still watching, say I'm an MVP, just like this mug right here. If y'all want to go pick that up, I'm an MVP. Give me a way to contact you. That will be one entry for a 100,000 coin giveaway. And then we'll do one more at the end of this video in just a little bit. Uh, but if you do have these XL presents and you're not sure what to do when you open them up, I would actually hold unless so let's say this black and white one here a lot of people think oh this might be raiders bo jackson because it's black and white let's say it's a 96 overall bo jackson and it's an incredibly good card it's selling for 500 000 coins okay that's great if i have that that's awesome but if i open that up and 5,000 other people do as well because yes they are rare but a lot of people still have these gifts every a lot of people are going to want to be selling that card okay a lot of people are going to be selling it so unless you're one of the first people that can get on the auction house and put your card up for auction and have it sell it is going to be undercut city out there everybody's going to be undercutting everyone else especially on these xl gifts if they're specific players some people think that this red and white one is going to be mahomes or isaiah simmons it doesn't really matter if it's a specific player everyone with that gift is going to be opening it up and having that player and it is going to be undercut a lot so if you have xl gifts when you open them up no matter how good the card is i would recommend you going and looking on the auction house and checking out what it's like and only selling for a good price like if you go and check on the auction house let's say you've got the bo jackson here he's selling for five hundred thousand you're like okay i'll take five hundred thousand for him you go and put him up for four hundred and ninety five thousand you check back five minutes later and his price has fallen to like four hundred thousand don't don't drop your price okay don't sell just give it a little bit it's gonna be the same kind of thing where everybody opens up packs opens up packs there's undercut 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 prices drop prices drop and then eventually it will recover a little bit as there's less of these on the market because everybody that's a raiders fan or wants that bo jackson on their team is gonna go buy it up okay so don't get caught up in all the undercutting and sell 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 it is a little bit of a risk because the price might not go up all the way, but I would wait a little bit for the price to rebound some and then sell the card for where it's at. Now, don't go asking me how much should I sell this card for and all that. What's a good sell price? Because it just depends, guys. It just depends. The market is always changing. So always go and check the market, see what it's selling for and determine what you think is a good price for it. And for those of y'all that don't have any XL presents or you, there's another XL present that you want that you don't have go and check the market when they first open because just the opposite of what we were just saying it's going to be undercut city out there there's going to be people undercutting undercutting if this is bo jackson and you really want bo jackson you'll be able to get him for a good snipe because people want coins more than they do cards if somebody doesn't want that bo jackson and they just want to sell him they will sell him for cheap 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 coins so you can go and get lucky and get a snipe now there's going to be a lot of competition on those if these are specific cards but like an hour or two after those presents open it's going to be the best time for you to go and pick up these cards if they are specific players so guys that was a very rambling video and i apologize if i was like kind of disconnected and just jointed all the way over here but there's a lot of stuff going on right now and it's a big market crash and i just want to kind of cover everything so if you skipped any of the video i would recommend going back and watching the entire thing because there's a lot of stuff in there that you want to be aware and ready to go for but if you are only here for the 100,000 coin giveaway because you skipped to the end that's totally fine just comment down below why squad give me a way to contact you Twitter Instagram whatever it may be and like I said earlier in the video I might not have a video out on Christmas Day so just Merry Christmas to all of y'all I hope you all have a great holiday travel safe and all that stuff we'll get back to making videos after Christmas maybe I'll have one out tomorrow we will see but thank y'all so much for watching y'all the MVPs and as always I will see y'all in the next one